This is my 3D printer filament. I keep it in this tote to keep it dry and today we're going to go over three ways that you can keep your filament dry or dry it when it gets wet. These are the three ways I figured out that works for me in a decade or so of 3D printing and one new one. Inside the tote are all my flexibles, PLA, ABS, all of them mixed in together. This is enough to keep me printing most of the time. In with it, my favorite little item from Amazon. This is a reusable desiccant filter. I'll put a link to these below. These work exceedingly well to keep a box this size super, super dry. When it gets wet, when this changes color to the wet, you simply plug it into the wall and it has a little heating element and dries it back out. I've been using this one so long, some of the desiccant beads have discolored, but overall you can still tell them apart. And that is about four years old, so still going good. My next favorite item is completely free. Every roll of 3D printer filament usually comes with a desiccant bead package inside of it. I save them all and put them in this tote with my desiccant. And these are all the freebies also come with shoes. You can buy little packages like this for small articles of clothing and stuff. These are actually quite price reasonable, but honestly, these last a very, very long time. And this is enough to do way more than this case. And my new favorite, hands down, this filament storage and drying solution from Sane Smart. It is just impressing me at every turn. To know more about it, we have to go back a few months. Another option for drying your filament is a commercial one. And I chose to try out the Scene Smart filament dryer box. This is a fully all-in-one solution, supposedly. Since I have no experience with these commercial dryers until today, We'll discover ourselves together how well they work. This is the inside of the Sane Smart unit. Fan in the bottom, and we have our controls at the front, and it also allows the filament to come out. So this is why I picked this one. I can use this with my i3 or any of my 3D printers and keep the filament in here and run a dry cycle periodically. Heating on this one, 48 watts. So significant amount of heat produced by it. Controls on the front, pretty straightforward. We're going to try it out with PLA. Nothing to it. I just so happened to have a roll of PLA here, and what I tried to do is I tried to get some good empirical measurements of moisture for you. I have a pin style moisture meter and a pinless. Neither offered repeatable results. I could not measure my filaments and get a result that I could rely on to show you guys. So very subjective to tell the moisture level in filament. Um, sometimes it'll snap really, really easy. Sometimes not. Sometimes it'll basically shatter. Other times you'll get bubbling in your prints and you can actually hear it. Uh, again, very subjective, but uh, let's try it out and see how it prints after. Lovely. Into the box. Fits perfect. No issues. Power plugged in. Nothing to it. Our time, we're gonna go, let's go, I'll just set this to 24 hours and we'll see what's left tomorrow. I think I'll come back midday. Mode one, two, or three. Mode one, two, and three just correspond to the temperature levels 55, 70, and 80, of which one is the lowest, PLA, PLA+, plus, ABS, PETG, and nylon. So we want it on setting one and just let it go. Default drying time is 18 hours, so that should be just about right. We'll come back tomorrow and see how we end up. All right, 3.6 hours remain. I went ahead and stuck my thermocouple in there. We're at 48 degrees. It's been this way throughout since right after I rolled the last video. So we're actually getting a little bit high. Uh, they advertise that the inside temp will only be 40 on the PLA setting, but we're actually getting the top of the range almost, which is pretty cool. Um, so we'll be able to get a little bit higher for the ABS and the PETG, which is just fine by me. Uh, 50 is just great for drying this out, I think. I'm going to let this finish up. It's really quite quiet, not loud at all. I'm pretty impressed. It's, uh, it's a good little unit. I think this will work just fine. Now, question is, is it going to maintain our filament? And also, is it going to be able to dry our filament? 
I wouldn't be able to make these videos without the support of my patrons and PCBWay.com. PCBWay doesn't only offer printed PCBs, they offer a variety of other manufacturing services great for makers like us. Check out their 3D printing and even metal printing at PCBWay.com. Thanks to their support, I can keep bringing free to watch content every week. So I tried to find a date code on this to figure out how old this filament is. And near as I can figure, this is four years old from the last time I got silver PLA for Amaze 3D. And the way it recovered, it's just perfect. It, it won't snap anymore at all. So you just have to take my word for it that that feels better. But the proof is in the pudding, or in this case, in the benchy. Uh, for old PLA filament, realistically, how much better could this get? Uh, this is a pretty good benchy. It just came off on the Ender 3 V2, and I am super happy with this. Uh, yeah, that's... <laughs> if all my filament can be recovered like that and dried out, uh, I'm going to be pretty happy. I guess that benchy just tells the story there. I wish I would have done one before I dried the filament, but you just have to take this as the final result and I think that's good enough. I'm pretty happy with those results for a uh, pretty old film and if you can tell by the label how old this is let me know but I think it's uh, four years this fall. Okay here's the official results. Check this out. Here's the before little pasty, little chalky, and here's the after. I hope this comes across on camera, but it's night and day difference. This is this is back in business, and I'm quite pleased with this. And that, I was fine with this too, but uh, I'll take the new quality any day. Filament dryer, success. Happy with that. I'll put the link to this down below. Uh, I would pick one up. These things, it just works great. It dries my filament out, keeps it dry. And anytime I have a slightly damp one, because I left it out on the counter for a month or two, which happens, this dries it right out. So far, so good. But in today's day and age, free, awesome way to go. Few bucks, few bucks, save your filament. Hope you guys enjoy.